To our Gen Z audience, this video is especially for you. We love how energetic you guys are. And hello, let's not forget the fact that you're responsible for the boom of TikTok dances, interesting challenges, and small businesses during the 2020 pandemic. We know of your dislikes, but what does the Gen Z group like? Morning Consult, an intelligence company, is sharing all the details in this video, so stay tuned to find out more. First of all, Morning Consult shared that Gen Z likes minions. If there's one thing Generation Z is well known for, it's their strong love for minions. And not just the characters in the Despicable Me franchise, but the minions The Rise of Gru movie itself. In fact, if you remember, they were also responsible for the quirky gentle minions trend, in which young people flocked to movie theaters like a herd of sheep dressed in suits to see the film. Yes, that's right, they went all out. Can you believe that the gentle minions tag has over 170 million views on TikTok? Talk about good marketing, right? The Rise of Gru movie made more than $125 million on its opening weekend, a new 4th of July weekend box office record, which is seriously mind-blowing. And we've got a feeling it's all because of the movie's social team working hard day and night to make the franchise and its little yellow creatures appeal to the Gen Z demographic. They pulled this goal off successfully by creating a strong TikTok presence and constantly engaging with fans. The team jumped onto the viral trends bandwagon and didn't stop even once. They even did the is it cake trend for crying out loud. Someone needs to give that social media team a raise immediately. Dana Nujar, the strategist head of the movie's social media team, said that they wanted the public, especially Gen Z, to think it's cool loving minions. So basically they wanted to create something that Gen Z could really embrace while maintaining their street cred. Illumination and Universal also went the extra mile and commissioned a Gen Z friendly soundtrack that had TikTok fave artists on it. Up next, Gen Z are a big fan of The Rock. It looks like Dwayne The Rock Johnson's been crowned fave actor by Generation Z kids and adults alike. Is it because of his charisma, his good looks, his down-to-earth personality, or his insanely good pipes? Like hello, this man can sing. It honestly makes sense that he's Gen Z's favorite actor. The runner-ups for the title of favorite actors are Tom Holland, who won by 58%, and Johnny Depp at a strong 56%. In terms of YouTube streamers, Mr. Beast seems to be the reigning champ, with the content creator Zach King following closely at second place. It turns out that Gen Z users actually preferred viewing actors from popular superhero franchises and supported content creators on platforms such as YouTube and TikTok. Of their top 10 favorite actors, about 7 played a superhero at least once on the big screen. Does that mean wearing tights and a cape makes the person more likable for a Gen Z person? The top listed creators in the poll were Mr. Beast, whose real life name is Jimmy Donaldson, Zach King, PewDiePie, aka Felix Kelberg, Olajid Olatunji, who goes by the username KSI, and Emma Chamberlain. The one thing that's interesting to note is, Gen Z users aren't always excited to see their favorite content creators starring in movies. According to Gen Z, it only makes sense for the content creators or social media influencers to be part of big budget movies if, you know, they're actually good at acting, which in most cases, they're not. Coming up, they're the reason the horror genre is doing so well. The intelligence company, Morning Consult, determined that Gen Z likes horror movies a lot. Their data shows that about one in three Gen Z adults saw a horror movie in theaters this fall, which is a huge deal considering that Hollywood studios and movie theaters have been finding it tricky to entertain and engage audiences on a consistent basis ever since the COVID pandemic hit. One of the Morning Consult employees wrote that Gen Z has officially become a reliable audience, particularly for scary stuff. She noted that the recent original horror releases like Sony Pictures Barbarian and Paramount Pictures Smile have surpassed expectations at the domestic box office, all thanks to the strength of the Gen Z audience that was present. Oh, and her message to studios is that Gen Zers want more horror, comedy, and horror comedy, and explained that they want their media to scare them just as much as it makes them laugh. So while Hollywood's breaking its back in hopes of getting young moviegoers back to theaters, Morning Consult suggests they should utilize platforms like TikTok to advertise their movies. Gotta milk out as much as you can if you want to make the money, right? And TikTok is basically Gen Z's natural habitat at this point. Hmm, can we get a cha-ching? Not to mention, what horror movies do Gen Z like? You'd think that Gen Zers would love everything bloody, ghoulish, and basically as if the spirit Halloween store came to life. But surprisingly, that's not the case. In fact, they're all for the old school retro vibe. Like, just look at the recent boom of Polaroid cameras, astrology charts, and we can't believe we're saying this, 
this, but Y2K fashion's also making a comeback. Now that's one aspect of the past we're more than happy to say goodbye to, so please stay in the past. We don't want to say hello to you anytime soon. Jeans and mini dresses paired together are still, and will always be, a fashion sin. So obviously they love horror movies that have a strong element of nostalgia to them. Another thing that's got to be on their checklist horror movie-wise is that there's a decent amount of desire, overconsumption, and human cravings present. Studies conducted show that they love Raw, It Follows, and The Neon Demon because they reveal our relationship with narcissism and consumption as complex. Even though the movies were criticized for their literal interpretation of consumerism, they were loved by Gen Z because they effectively shine a torch on important issues of society. You know, all the controversial issues that no one likes discussing except a Gen Z person, because they love controversial topics. Let's be honest, these people are the only reason Thanksgiving dinners are fun. Moving on, how much media do they consume in their free time? Would you be surprised if we told you the amount of media Gen Z consumes on a daily basis? This is the same generation of kids who grew up with unlimited access to the internet, after all. Okay, not unlimited, but they sure did have access, alright? A lot more than the generation before them. And we hate to say it, but the kids are addicted. Okay, so millennials, bless their souls, love watching lengthy TV shows that have hour-long episodes. Ahem, Game of Thrones. Ahem, ahem. But Gen Z hasn't got time to sit around watching shows that have a timestamp of an hour episode each. No, according to Morning Consult, Gen Z wants TV episodes to be 45 minutes or fewer. About 35% of respondents shared that, according to them, this is the ideal runtime, while around 34% preferred watching 30-minute episodes. But with movies, Gen Z said they prefer watching movies that fall between the two and two and a half hours long mark. Nothing more, nothing less. One example of TV show episodes being less than 10 minutes is of Quibi, which failed in its mission of capturing a Gen Z audience's interest. Sorry Quibi, but 10 minute episodes can't possibly contain an interesting enough story, even for a Gen Z viewer. Gen Z are aware of the importance of time and therefore use their free time doing what they think is best. This includes tuning into mediums of news they like, meaning that they don't tune into traditional news channels. Not that much anyway. They're also no longer coming to dedicated websites or apps, but the amount of lip syncing, dance routines, and general short-form content videos have increased. Like we said, they're addicted, and things will only get worse from here onwards. Following up, here's stuff that boomers and millennials think Gen Z like. When you think of Gen Z, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? Is it indulging in overpriced iced coffee? Yes. Documenting their lives on the internet? Yes. Or opting to thrift for clothes? Yes. Well, that's the case for all the millennials and boomers. They think that the generation of kids born from 1998 to 2012 only like tote bags, excessive jewelry, taking selfies, mixing animal print clothing, their social media platforms, and either wearing a sparkly eyeshadow look to buy veggies from the grocery store or sporting a no-makeup look. Do Gen Z people like all of this stuff? Of course. But we think that if it's not harming anyone or the environment, then why should you diss something that brings others so much joy? Also, spoiler alert, they don't like all of this stuff. Well, at least not to the extent that millennials and boomers think they do. Finally, let's take a look at things Gen Z dislikes about themselves. Gen Z people know that their generation's not perfect, and they have lots to share about what they think on Reddit. Firstly, not everyone likes any of the fake activism stuff, with one person specifically pointing out people who think making a flag or a symbol as your profile picture and writing a hashtag in your social media bio actually helps. Spoiler, it doesn't. Another person said that they dislike how easily cancel culture has been normalized and that their generation's taken the whole thing to a new level. They said that you can make the tiniest mistake and Gen Z will immediately call you out and be coming for you and canceling you. And added that we are so toxic. Well, at least they're aware of their shortcomings, right? Oh, and a lot of people chimed that they find their generation's habit of getting offended by small things really annoying, especially since we don't even know how to ask for ketchup at a restaurant. Facts. Lastly, one Generation Z user said their fellow generation's just far too nihilistic and cynical for their own good. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think there's something we missed about stuff that Gen Z likes? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.